Shalom. Call Halayim La Yehow by Shem Yahu Shah by Shem Rakadash. Double honor to El Zapal's great millstone. Peace and blessings to Hope Alek Shalom. There's going to be a video going into this famine that's brewing up. All right. Now, here, I'm going to play this video real quick. How many warnings do you need in one year, people? It's not about fear. We hope for the best and we prepare for the worst. Hashtag SWPG to find out more. We got your six. Follow, like, and share. How many warnings? Now, do you need? I don't know how accurate this can be. It says there's only 10 weeks of wheat supplies left for the world. All right, which is just under three months. All right, so two and a half months. All right, now, is this true? Maybe, maybe not. We'll find out. But guess what? Regardless, no matter what, because it's the spirit of prophecy, which is Yahweh Shai, all right, that uh, it will be a famine. And that famine will be um a part of that great slaughter, man, for the wicked, man. Because only the people that's going to get caught up in all this is, is the wicked, man. And... Like, it's weird. Like, I've seen brothers point it out, too. And when they pointed it out, I'm like, yeah, that's true. And what I'm saying is that you never heard about Ukraine being the quote-unquote bread basket of the world until this this thing with, with Russia, right? So it's all being orchestrated, obviously, by Yahweh by Shemiah al Shah, right? And these elites are putting it out there, man. And everybody at this point, even the mainstream media is telling you it's, it's going to be food shortages, man. And they talking about gas is not even talking. Gas is going up to $10, man. $10. That's one with three zeros at the end, man. With a decimal point. All right? So it's just a matter of time till these evils just take a new, a new level, a new tier of evil, man. A whole new, new new bracket of evil now let's just dive into this this famine man let's get it revelations 18 and 8 Therefore shall her plagues come in one day. And this is talking about the daughter of Babylon, all right? That that whore riding the beast, which is the United States of America, all right? The plagues will come in one day. Death, all right? Mourning and famine and shall be utterly burned with fire. Those are the, the nuclear weapons, all right? The missiles. For strong is Yahweh. The Most High who judges her. And that connects with suddenly shall the empty storehouses be found empty, man. I'm just paraphrasing that. Let's get it. Um, suddenly shall. Had to hit that right there. Cool. Here it is. Second Esdras 6 and 22. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown, right? So the crops and everything along those lines. And the full storehouses, Walmart, Target, Aldi, Kroger, shall suddenly be found empty. And guess what? That lines up with this. Revelations 18 and 8. The plagues will come in one day. Famine in one day, man. That's sudden, all right? So something's going to happen to where in mere hours is going to be pure... Pure, pure apocalyptic, like, like full blown, man. Like, um, them like that scene in that movie. Uh, what was that movie? World War Z, where they was in a the grocery store. It was just completely destroyed and stuff. And even the cop, you know what I'm saying, was stealing stuff. That's pretty much it, man. People gonna ram ransack the play everywhere, man. They gonna ransack for weapons. They're going to ransack for everything, food, weapons, and supplies, medicine, maybe, yeah, pretty much food, supply food, so you can eat, water, drink, whatever, right, food and drink, supplies like nails, wood, batteries, weapons and guns, machetes, swords, whatever, bullets, and then medicines, antibiotics, band-aids, 
alcohol, all that, man. They're going to ransack all that, man. Let's keep going through this. I think Jeremiah 15 talks about, I think, I think it's the three, the three things, I believe. I may be wrong. Let's, let's, I think it's Jeremiah 15 for sure, though. Let's get it. Four cons. Here it is. Here it is. Jeremiah 15 and three. Not three. It's four. And I will point over them four kinds, saith Yahweh. The sword to slay. All right. So any type of weapon. The sword represents any type of weapon. And the dogs to tear. And that goes into pretty much any type of beast as well, man. And the fowls of the heaven and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy, man. And I will cause them to be removed into all kingdoms of the earth. Because of Manasseh, the son of Hezekiah, and the king of Judah for, for that which he did in Jerusalem. All right? And this is talking about you two-thirds, man. You two-thirds finna get it, man. You two-thirds finna starve. You two-thirds finna get tortured. You finna, you finna get murdered, man. You finna go out like some losers, man. And for, the, for you people that hear this truth, man, and you hear these prophets out here, man, and you hear us, you hear us what we saying, man, and you hear the warning, you gonna think about it, man. When you when you catching when it's not funny no more and you can't blow it over your shoulder and you you have that full on despair man that full despair you gonna think about it man like like Young Thug man I seen this this video well first and foremost Young Thug is is locked up for Rico and they got apparently got him on the wiretap so he's probably fried right but I seen this video. Where Young Thug was with one of them radio hosts or whatever. I forgot his name. I don't really pay attention too much to it. But he was saying that he, he was in prison half more than half his life. He was in his prison for like 20-something years. And he's like in his 40s. And he said, he told Young Thug, like, yeah, you're you're rich, whatever. You know, you know he sold out to Esau, got the bag, right? And he was telling him, like, you don't got to be street, man. Like, you rich. And Young Thug, you could tell Young Thug ain't want to hear it. I bet you, man, I know for a fact that Young Thug is thinking about that conversation right now, now that he's locked up in the prison cell, man. All right? And that's what you two, that's how you two-thirds going to feel, man, out here when when it, when it when Jacob's trouble fully commences. Straight up. And let's get 2nd Ezra's 15, the 15th chapter and the 16th chapter. Second Ezra chapter 15 from verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the word of prophecy, which will I put in thy mouth, saith Yahweh. All right? That goes back to Yahweh Shai. All right? And guess what? What's the word of prophecy? You are the Hebrew Israelites. Two-thirds where you will be cut off. One-third you will make it. There's a hierarchy of the one-third. The two-thirds will get brutal judgment. All right? The Lord only came for the Israelites. All right? Your oppressor Esau Edom, the self-proclaimed white man. We're going to beat the shit out of them, enslave them, exterminate them. You heathens, we beating the shit out of you. All right? We enslaving y'all. That's the prophecy, man. That's the gospel. That's the good news. All right? Because the gospel is for the Israelites. All right? That's the prophecy. Let's scroll down. Verse 9. And therefore, saith Yahweh, I will surely avenge them. How is he going to avenge them? Vengeance, man. The, the destruction. And receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Because guess what? We we went off, but after our 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 um punishment was was over, you Edomites and you heathens continue to fuck us over, man. Let's get that. After and you can go to book of Psalms 83, alright? Hold on, let me Give me a moment. I'm going to type in. Let's see. Yeah, give me a sec.
Give me a second. Completely forgot the verse. Let's go to the book of Obadiah, man. In the meantime, all right? I can't find that precept. It's lucky on that. This is Obadiah 1, all right? Scroll down. Verse 12, verse 13, thou shouldest not have entered into the gate of, of my people in that day of their calamity. Yeah, thou shouldest not have looked on their affliction in the day of their calamity, nor have laid hands on their substance in the day of their calamity, man. And that's what you Edomites did, man, to the Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, all right, which are all bywords, which, of course, were prophesied for the for the Israelites to have, all right? Well, let's, if I can, if I can find the original precept, all right, I'll get it. But let's go to Amos 1 in the meantime. Amos 1, we're going to scroll down a little bit. Verse 11, thus said Yahweh, for three transgressions of Edom and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he did pursue his brother with the sword and did cast off all pity, and his anger did tear perpetually, and he kept his wrath forever, man. I'm going to get one more in my head out, man. I'm going to head out from here, all right? I'm not going to end the video. <laughs> The Lamentations 4. All right. Lamentations 4. Scroll down a little bit. Lamentations 4 and 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also, also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken. And shall make thyself naked. So Esau Edom is going to be living good before he gets fucked over. All right. Verse 22. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity, slavery. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom, and will discover thy sins. So you Edomites finna get fucked over, man. So you better, you know, don't, you know... Don't, um, don't, uh, be scared now you hear the truth or whatever, man. You just keep, keep living it up, man. Because as soon as it's over, you never getting it back, man. It's going to be continuous, continuous, um, evil towards you Edomites, man. Indi indignation. That's a better word. It's going to be continuous indignation towards you Edomites. All right. So let's get back to it. Verse, verse 10. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. And that's talking about Babylon the Great. All right. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. And I will destroy all the land thereof. That proves it's not talking about the actual land Egypt because Egypt is still intact. 
All right. And in Revelations, it calls, it says that where Yahweh was crucified is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. All right. Babylon the Great. Verse 13. Verse 12. Egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten with a plague and punishment. And Yahweh shall bring upon it. And that plague, one of them plagues, going to be that famine, man. You people going to be starving, man. You people going to be starving. Starving, man. And guess what? I believe, I believe it was... Man, I can't remember, but I know one of the one of the prophets said that he'd rather die by the sword than a star. Let me get that. Yeah, man, when you're starving, you're literally eating yourself. Lit literally, your body is um eating itself, okay? Lamentations 4 and 9. They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. For these pine away, stricken through for one of the fruits of the field, man. And that's a mental thing as well, man. You're eating yourself and you're mentally starving too, like your mind. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man, it's brutal. And that's how you two thirds, man. That's how you you fucking heathens finna go out, man. And you're not gonna be able to grow no food. Like I see these homesteaders trying to grow food, man. Man, these locusts finna come and devour that shit, man. Yeah, how about Shimmy Al Shai gonna send the Elohim to stop them, stop the seeds in the in the in the soil, man? Make the soil all shitty and stuff, man. Make the seeds not grow, man. You gonna starve, man. And for you people that's um stocking up uh food, you know, them little 25-year stuff or whatever, man. Man, the elect finna come take that, man. Or you gonna die some way, somehow. Or you gonna be a, if you a fucking, you know, elite, all right? We just, we gonna be a first fruit for the for slavery, man. And guess what? Verse 19. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. Why? It's no food, man. It's lawlessness. But shall destroy their houses with the sword. Why are they destroying their houses with the sword? To spoil their goods. Let's keep reading. And spoil their goods. Because of the lack of bread. And for great tribulation. Alright man. So these, so your neighbor. That you was. You had. You know. You could have had a neighbor. Alright. You had that. You had a barbecue with every summer. Every 4th of July. Y'all have a barbecue. And then maybe y'all have another barbecue after that man. Guess what man. When, it, when they starving. And they, they, they daughter and they sons, stomachs touching their back, man. They coming for you, man. They busting in your house, strapped up. They going to tie you up and they going to take your food. Just straight like that, man. Or you going to gang up with them and go to the other neighbors and take their food. And if they real shysty, they real evil, man. They going to they gonna rape whoever in the house, man. Even the dog, all right. Even the, the, the man. The one, they gonna, You know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to be real... Real, real evil out here, man. Real, real, real evil. And we, we, we're trying to warn you, but you two-thirds ain't trying to listen, man. So guess what? It's going to be too late for the majority of the Israelites, man. Because guess what? Two-thirds got to go. And anybody that has a, anybody that can see it can obviously tell why these two-thirds got to go, man. I can see it. I'm pretty sure all the brothers and sisters in this troop see it. All right? Let's scroll down, man. Verse 72. For they shall waste and take away their goods, man. What's a part of them goods, man? Food, man. What's the more, most important goods they gonna take, man? Food, man. Food. Now, famine... That famine coming, all right? Maybe not 10 weeks from now, but it's close. It's close, man. It's, we're getting closer. We're edging closer and closer every single day, all right? Every single day we're getting closer to, to Jacob's struggle, man. And when it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to keep speeding up, and they talking about some whatever that new, you know what I'm saying, virus that's coming out, man. Who knows where that's going to go, all right? They can have him mutate. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know what Esau really got planned fully, man. All right? 
And that goes back to what you how about Shimi Al Shai got, man. We all know what's gonna happen, right? We don't know how it's gonna play out, when it's gonna play out. Alright. Verse 46. For strangers shall reap their fruits and spoil their goods and overthrow their houses and take their children captives. For in captivity and famine shall they get children, man. Alright. And that happened to the Israelites, alright? And that's gonna happen again, okay? I've seen it saying that history doesn't repeat, but it rhymes. And that's facts, man. History does rhyme. And guess what? This rhythm that's coming is going to be the greatest evil this world will ever see. All right? Because you fucking Edomites are going fucking down, man. We finna get down on you fucking Edomites, man. Starting with you Edomites. You other heathens, you getting it too, and you two-thirds. But starting with you fucking Edomites, man. All right? You're the fucking problem. You're the cancer of the earth, man. And everybody's seeing it. All right? We, we of the hopeful lake, been seeing it. But everybody on this earth, all these other nations, are seeing it. And you still got these two-thirds, especially Eve, hearkening to this devil. But guess what? The majority of the two-thirds going to be, be you fucking women, man. All right? You, that feminism shit, that shit. <laughs> Verse 22. For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. So guess what? Break it down to you. You're going to be in the city. You're going to starve, right? You somehow make it out of the city. Maybe you find a bunker. Maybe you got a little um, retreat somewhere or whatever. Guess what? The Marauders is coming for that ass. Mad. Think of Mad Max, The Road, Book of Eli. They coming for you, man. Call Halim La Yahweh by the Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shemra Kakadash. Double honors to the elders and piles of Great Millstone. Shalom.